this uh, video reply goes directly to Australia and this is the topic of the video Ike, I don't know how bad the racism is over there in the US but from everything I see on here I assume it's quite bad you have to try to ignore it these people are people whose opinions you wouldn't respect on any other matter so don't listen to them being racist I don't think you'll ever turn them around they're too ignorant all it does is hurt if you'll listen to them yeah, I agree with you. It doesn't hurt to listen to the racists, but we need racists. We need those people who oppose unity. Because without the people showing an opposition to unity, people will not believe that there is actually an opposition to unity. If you don't see someone saying that blacks and whites shouldn't get together, or in your, your, in your um, country, Australia, the Aborigines and the English, whatever, I don't know. What I'm trying to say is that without people physically speaking out against the other people of race, there will be no acknowledgement of racism. In other words, if you don't see it, it doesn't exist. Like I made comments about the Holocaust on the Jay Ryder video reply, and I was pretty much saying the Holocaust never happened. Because 40 years from now, from today, 40 years from today, you know, the all knowledge of the Holocaust could actually be erased. Who their the knowledge of slavery in itself is being filtered out. It's not relevant. Now I get from a lot of white people they say white people were slaves. White people were slaves. Where are the documents? Where's where's the long long drawn out history of white people being slaves? If white people were truly enslaved at one point in their history that knowledge was erased what's going to happen to this knowledge of this atrocity see what i'm saying see this the, the taking of the africans has been erased for it, it's been erased from people's minds people's thoughts oh that happened a long time ago oh that's nah, over it's being erased once knowledge is erased, it's worse than any books Hitler ever burned. Once basic knowledge is erased, then we're, we're stupid. We're already headed towards Dumbsville. There's white people out there marching and fighting and pissed off because health care is going to go to others other than whites. But they fail to realize all that hate that they show at these these health, these uh, town hall meetings, all this, all this rage and anger that they bring up, is only hurting white people. Someone said, "When you're being tricked by the trickster, the trickster makes the trick in front of you. The trickster creates the trick in front of you. The, cr the trickster springs the trap in front of you." He shows you how the whole thing is drawn out. He shows you which direction to go in. And because he's the trickster, you're like, ha, 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 you're tricking me. And we always fall for the wrong option. Um, it's three card money. I mean, this is what's happening in real life to people. There's groups of people throughout the globe who generally dislike other groups of people based on a propaganda war that's thousands of years old. You can't teach people that they're being screwed over based upon a lie because they're too busy worried about their hate for you that was created based on that lie. Without these people speaking, those people of that same race will never know how stupid that these people sound. But on the other hand, some of the people of that same race want them to be that ignorant. I said it. They want white people to rage and, and be mad and scream for white rights. They want people to scream for their own rights. I just saw a movie called This is England, The Night Before Last. And in this movie, it's about a bunch of English kids. You know, they befriend this little kid, yada, yada, yada. At the beginning, the little kid had black friends, and then he didn't. And then he had to see one of his only friends, a black person, get killed 
by the person who was supposed to teach him the heritage of England. You need to understand the, the physical nature of racism. It is a created mechanism to keep human beings from ever being unified. Period. Once every human of every race and every color becomes one species, in other words, I'm not Afghanistan, I'm not Afghani, I'm not Jewish, I'm not Russian, I'm not English, I'm not American, I'm not American of African descent, I'm, I'm a human being. Once we become together as human beings, then the people who put this divide and conquer in have failed. But we as a people, as a human race, if these people came out the closet, if the wizard came from behind the curtain, we wouldn't care. Because that's how we've evolved mentally. Okay, so what? You rule the world and you've destroyed most of it. So, what? Now we know we can fix this. What? And that is the fear. The fear of losing control and power over all people. Not just the blacks, not just the whites, not just the Italians, the Jews, the Germans, the Russians, the Chinese, the Japanese. We can go on and on and on. The Australians. Racism is a controlled mechanism and it's been in place longer than anyone will ever know because each atrocity of racism is erased over time and like I said maybe not 40 years maybe 50 years from now the Holocaust will be just like listening to people talk of Zeus and the gods on Mount Olympus it's you know Oh, wow. The story of Roots 150 years from now. Wow. They, did they, did, nah. What did that ever happen? Oh. We are being erased. See, I believe in reincarnation. You come back over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. You ever notice a baby on a baby's first born they're trying to tell you something? They're just going all out. It's, they're trying to explain who the fuck they used to be. Reconditioning. You can believe it or you can not believe it. I don't care. But what I'm trying to say is racism in itself is no more than the erase the erasing of human emotion. The separate, the divide and conquer and separation of the human race through racism. You get it? Racism. Now, what about the animals? The trees, the birds, uh, cows. What would a wild cow look like? What about bears, lions, tigers, cats, and dogs? What would they look like wild? Humans. What is a wild human? Are we nomads? What is a wild human? Who have we been civilized by? Was it the same people with the divide and conquer? Humanity is big. It's huge. It's large. It's alive. But it has cancer which is racism, which is man-made, which is a control, just a, it's just a complete mental and physical control. We have to let these people speak so the world knows the damage that's been done. And the only way we can fix it is to show each other respect, become that one human race again. If you find any knowledge in this video, if you understand what I'm trying to say, pass it on. Because people don't like my riddles. I'm starting to get that now. After a year now, they don't understand me. So, I did a video, uh, uh, stop bashing black women or black something about black women. What are you saying? Black women should shut up or something. Like, what?